bot for your Twitch TV channel. This is a free loyalty bot program for people to use on Twitch TV. It is not against the TOS. Twitch allows you to use it. It's very similar to like a mod bot or a mood bot that's currently available on Twitch TV. The first thing you're going to do is go to soundforge.net projects Twitch mod bots. I'll put this in the video link so you guys don't need to memorize it. You're going to download the program, save it, extract it, and put it on your location. The key thing here is you either want to run it on your own computer or another computer that's going to run at the same time during your streams or consider buying a virtual private server to run it off of because you want it running 24 7 so it collects points collects data and is always up and available you also want to have access to it so you can make changes or restart if it crash it tends to be a bit buggy and can crash out so once you download and extract it, you're gonna have a file here called modbot v101 for windows it currently works on windows operating system the program you're going to open is this program right here called modbot i already have it open modbot I think so. here. modbot so i have currently already set it up and close this one out it's basically going to ask you for commands for your channel it's going to ask you your bots name your bot password your channel and your spreadsheet i'm going to walk you guys through on how to do this the first thing you're going to want to do is set up a clever bot name. A clever bot name would be a name that has to go with your channel. So when you're doing, sorry, when you're doing a nice bot name, you're going to want to call it related to your channel. So if your name is Red Red Boy, you're going to probably want to call your bot Red Bot or Red B O T with the zero. You can uh, change up the names if it's not available on Twitch TV with zeros or underscores or dashes to get the desired bot name you want. Currently I made a bot called Gotham Bros Curls. So the name is Gotham Bros Curls. I wouldn't recommend making your bot name the same as your channel. It's just not a smart idea. You want your loyalty bot to be a moderator in your channel. So for now I know my bot's name is going to be Gotham's Curls and it's also going to be my channel's name just for this video. But you're going to want to name your bot like something clever and witty, something short and sweet so people know it's your loyalty bot. The next thing you're going to want to do is get your bot's password for your loyalty bot. You can do that by going to this page at twitchapps.tmi. I will also link this in the video. And you have to be logged in as your bot, or in my case, as my channel. So I'm already logged in. You're going to want to connect with Twitch. It's going to ask, are you sure you want to connect to accept? I've already done this once. And you're going to get your auth password generator here. This is your auth password to connect to the Twitch chat servers. So you're going to want to go ahead and copy and paste this, whatever your key is here, and put it as the bot password. My caps lock's on. Not anymore. I turned you off. Okay, you're off. And you also want to set your channel name here. And the next thing you want to do is create a spreadsheet. To do that, you want to go to Google Docs and create a new spreadsheet. Docs.google.com is absolutely free and up 24-7. There's no reason not to use Google Docs for this. You're going to go in and create a new doc and name file A1 username singular guys capital U username no S it's not usernames it's just username and save the file I'm gonna just call this moodbot you wanna name the document so it has a name you hit OK then you're gonna to wanna to click over here and share it you wanna share it to the public so you're gonna click on who has access here click on this change icon and you wanna set public to anyone cause by default it's set to link so you wanna set public to the web so you click on public to the web and you click on save. Then you're going to click on done. And then you want to go to file here and you're going to publish it on the web guys. Publish on web. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to publish on a web? Did you name it correctly? Yes. Is this username singular? Yes. Let's publish. Click on publish. Are you sure you want to publish? Yes I am. Once it's published you get this document link here. Go ahead and copy it into your text doc. I'm going to close it out and I have my notepad here in my docs. I'll explain what to do. So I'm here in my spreadsheet. You're going to paste it here. You only need after this D. This is the link you need here. This is the stuff. You're going to want to put this from list to here as my key. I'll go ahead and copy and paste this here so you guys know what to do and I'll leave like a note here that says like input key. And I'll have this on my YouTube video so you can just go ahead and copy and paste it where it says input key here. 
So I'll go ahead and set that up on my YouTube page. So one, this is the, the full dock line. It's going to be your key to your dock with this information. So I'm going to go ahead and hit copy. And now, if I can get back into that, settings. I'm going to paste the spreadsheet here. It has my Google Doc and all the spreadsheet values I need. Now, PayPal va uh, value is how many points you want to give someone for watching per hour and how much payout you want to give someone for following. So I can give them one point or one currency. You can set this to whatever you want. You want it to be a lot or a little. People will concur as much points as you set to. So for now, I'll set it to like one to five. And one thing about this, by default, it's called points. Personally, I think points is boring. People don't care about points. You want it to relate to your channel. Make it something like gold, bucks, dollars, something fun that people can relate to. Maybe it has to do with your name. So as I go by Gotham Bro, I'm going to call it Curls. So I want it to be called Curls. So I'm going to give people this amount of curls for watching me. Or you can do like push-ups. Or you can do like, you know, big money. Or like just bucks. You know, something like that. If your name's like red, you can call it like red bucks. You know, it's going to be the command that people are going to type. So you don't want the the currency command to be long. So for this example, I'm just going to call it curls. Very important. This is case sensitive, so don't do it cap. If it's capitalized, they have to capitalize it. So I'd recommend leaving it lowercase. Once you have your bot name, name of your bot, your password from the TMI page, your channel name, and your spreadsheet, you're going to click on start. And now this is going to go ahead and connect to your server. Let's see if it worked. Oh, well, it's worked. Paying everyone five curls. Wow, way to curl. So now I'm in my channel, and I'll ru it's going to be exclamation point, whatever you typed your currency for. I think I did curls in the nest. I already tested this one before. Did I call it curl or curls? Yeah, now I have, I have 15 curls. Since I've started this program, I've tested it twice for this video. So it's working. So anyone who joins the channel, they would just type this, curls, or like bucks, whatever you named it, to check how much money they have. The great thing about this is it can be used to promote your channel. You want to use it to really promote yourself and promote your channel and tell people to check you out, to watch it, etc. So with the Moodbot community, it actually has all the commands on their page as well. If you click on their uh, summary, not their summary. They have uh, notes on how to set it up too. On their forms, they have their about, they have all their commands, etc. It's also located in this file here, in the readme file. So if you click on the readme file, you can actually see all the commands. You can set up a greeting, you can set different admins to get people money out, you can pay people out. You can do a lot of really cool stuff. The main thing you want to change is this currency thing. I would just rename it so I call mine curls. So I'm gonna instead of saying currency, I'm gonna call it curls. So you can give people money. So for example, what I think works really well, if someone tweets out your stream or someone shares you on Facebook, you know, oh got em curls, you, you tweeted me on Facebook, so I'm gonna go ahead and type curls, got em curls, since I'm almond, I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy fifty curls just for being a boss.